I wouldn't call human beings crazy because, I mean, what is crazy? Which one person's crazy is another person's normal. But I will say that we're all very funny, and that includes myself, because how many times have I done something? And then in retrospect, I'm thinking, what on earth possessed me to do that? What happened in my brain that I just went in this particular direction? Anyway, this one of, of us being funny isn't, isn't, doesn't include me. I was simply an observer. And this was right at the beginning of the COVID shutdown, when suddenly there was this assumption that we all needed lots and lots of toilet paper. I, I have no idea where it came from. Something in my head tells me there was a connection with Australia, or they started it all off. I don't know. Sorry, Australians, if you didn't. But there was this mad, insane rush for toilet paper, and yet there was no explanation uh, as to why we needed the toilet paper. I had at that at that time we knew of some. It was a fever, and runny nose, and that stuff. So then you'd go for tissues. Uh, the tissues were there, but it was the toilet paper that was disappearing. And it was, I mean, really bad that people were grabbing it and hoarding it. Um, there was a national panic, possibly a, a, a European-wide panic, because would there be enough toilet paper? And um, I sort of joined in as well, in the sense that I thought, well, I'd better get some toilet paper. And I remember going to the supermarket early in the morning. There's one down the road that opens at 7 o'clock in the morning. And, of course, at 7 o'clock, people are ready. They're hustling. And whoosh, they go in. And you see this bizarre thing. You have a, a, a shopping trolley, and it's piled full. People just grab and grab and grab and pile it full with toilet paper. And they are so unwilling to share. They would rather die than give. Just, you've got, how much do you, I mean, how much, do you have diarrhea? Do you have, what, what is wrong with you? And I remember this, this one of, there was this lady, and she's got this huge pile of stuff. <laughs> and she's walking towards the checkout counter. <laughs> And she seemed to, again, these are my interpretations of what people may or may not be thinking. But she seemed to have a, a kind of, you know, that like, yeah, check me out, I've done it uh, attitude. And you saw a few people who needed toilet paper because it was, of course, it was gone within a few minutes. And they're looking at this and none of them had the courage. I myself didn't. I chose to ignore the whole business to say, listen, lady, give us a couple. You can't have all of them. Um, I think there were scuffles here and there, or people got very, very angry. And then the worst part of all, or the funniest bit of all, is that during the peak of this toilet paper madness, there was this video that went viral, and it came from one of the warehouses in the Netherlands, one of the warehouses for a toilet paper manufacturer, or someone who sold it. And you have this guy in a forklift truck and he is laughing and laughing and he's talking to us and calling us knuckleheads and this and that and that. And he's zooming up and down in the forklift, uh, within his forklift truck, sort of to one end of the warehouse and then back to the other end. And you just see toilet paper and toilet paper and toilet paper. And this is not the only warehouse. It is simply one of the warehouses and he's telling us to calm down there is toilet paper enough for everyone. Um, I think the thing, I wouldn't be surprised if this video helped calm everyone down because he really, he just, it was as if he's saying, come on guys, what is this? It, it's just toilet paper, there's enough. Anyway, that was again, um, that, I don't know why it came up, but that's one of those um, incidents that makes me enjoy being a human being and uh, observing our peculiarities. In this case, it was fear of no toilet paper. <laughs>